we were talking a bit earlier, you were talking about Brazil, and obviously that's very much in the forefront of people's minds and the, the huge success of the World Cup. Uh, initially, there was some doubt that everything was going to be ready or not. Do you think that somehow played into the story, that there was some doubt and actually it was a complete triumph in the end, it became more successful in a way? Well, I think, yes. Uh, on the other hand, um, we lost uh, a little bit of this, the, the, the marketing uh, before. Uh, I think the press was uh, accompanied this feeling uh, of the challenges we were facing. Now, the first, that the choice was to make a big World Cup, 12 cities, um, in a continental country. Now, the choice for big makes sense in a country as large as Brazil, and to take this opportunity to make it larger. Now, the costs were uh, high in terms of taking the advantage of and rebuilding the, the soccer infrastructure. Brazil is a, is a powerhouse for soccer industry, and it's not, not doing as well as Germany or Spain or, or England in terms of tendency, in terms of, of business. Now, this has been overlooked, but th the hardware that Brazil has now is a hardware that gives that possibility. Um, uh, the challenges, uh, I think, were also to do with uh, uh, spending money and communicating and uh, telling the people the difference between what's, what's physical legacy, what's uh, the formation of physical capital on building roads, bridges, and transportation, which would last and which were fostered by the event rather than saying, well, you know, this is expenses from the World Cup. Now, some people say, well, it's too much. Some people say it's too little. Now, how, where, how, it's a contradiction, but that's the feeling uh, when, you, when it becomes politics. Now, uh, I think another thing that happened in this turning point in terms of the Brazilian service industry is that uh, government learned to work together in, 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 in different states and in security, uh, I think in general. And also, I think it fostered an agenda for public and private partnership um, uh, to the point that uh, concessions of airports have happened. Large airports were built, are still being built, and gonna, they are going to be ready for the Olympics. Uh, they are already, many of them are, are working now. Um, I think that uh, opening of the agenda for concessions of airports, for instance, led to a, a, a bid in Rio of over $20 billion, more than uh, the, what we call the, the, the new oil industry in Brazil, Fresal, which was astounding for tourism, and I think it's a legacy on the tourist side, on the tourism. Now, uh, uh, concessions of roads, uh, of airports, 270 airports being built. Uh, there are 450 hotels being built in Brazil now. And I think here there is a turning point. With the Olympics, the stress is not there anymore. Now, it's like we've learned from other lessons to a certain degree of maturity. Now, which would be the next step, step for, for following all this uh, in an economy like Brazil? I think integration at the macroeconomic level with international chains of industry in general. We have a strong presence of a group called Accor, that are, they are building 150 hotels in Brazil, but this doesn't happen with other countries and many other industries in different uh, uh, in, in different uh, industries like, like the, the boat and the nautical industry, uh, the natural parks industries, which are uh, huge possibilities. Now, uh, Brazil's place now as, according to WTTC, and I had the, uh, the, the pleasure of being a host of the WTTC in Florianopolis in 2009, right, uh, says Brazil is the seventh economy. Now, uh, our national plan uh, uh, is towards, uh, makes the works towards being the third, number three. Uh, the WTTC says, well, you know, maybe five. We say number three because of the size of the economy. Now, where do you get this idea from? It's a parallel to our industry uh, that happened in, in the agribusiness. Uh, what Brazil produced in its agribusiness uh, 30 years ago was a fourth of what's producing now. And where is the relationship is comparative advantage, size, nature, uh, internal market, neighboring countries. So I think there's a huge possibility for investment in the service industry for different countries in the world and not think about competing necessarily at the internal market alone with this uh, uh, connections, connections between airlines, 
uh, uh, travel uh, agencies and hotels and get these chains uh, internationalized and connected to Brazil, but also developing the local market, which has grown a lot and it's growing faster than the, the, the Brazilian economy. So uh, my, whole, uh, my role here is a, is a sales pitch, saying, well, you know, we did well uh, against lots of uh, negative expectancies, but uh, the next step is, is business, is selling, not only promoting. Promoting, very, very good. Now, selling is the next step. And selling also means uh, uh, bringing investments for these huge opportunities.